that little statistic at all.
much you pay for the crops fuses you use in your English grenades? <laughs> for all the time, all the time. Look, you stumble bums. We had two peace scares last year, and our shares dropped by 40%. And what did you export to Europe amount to over the past three years, hmm? Ten yeah. and a half billion dollars! Yeah, but all we're getting paid in now is your beautifully engraved paper money. And that's what worries us. And what are you going to do with all that beautiful paper money if the Germans win? No point being the world's biggest creditor if nobody can afford to pay you. And if the US enters the war, I'll just finish it. No, no, there's no need to talk like that. Here, don't lose your rag. <coughs> all right, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Better late than next. <laughs>
I think they must be of German extraction. Well, it's all the same to you. We'll stick with the dear old Enfield rifle. They're cheap and easy to make. It. No gas? Ah, the Grossum still Todd. Deadly silent death. Ah, oh, yes. We use phosgene, I said. 1.4 meter canisters. Portable in the trenches, go on a man's back. It can also carry a rifle. Look at our arsenal at Edgeworth in Maryland. We have developed 63 different types of poison gases. And we've got eight more already. We'll stick with chlorine gas for now. Hague's trying it out at the moment at Loose. Mind you, we haven't heard from him yet. Gas last night, gas the night before. Gonna get gas tonight, like we never get gas anymore. When we're gassed, we're as sick as we can be. Cause frost, gene, and mustard gas is much too much for me. Second Yorks and, and Lang, sir. Just got a few DLIs and the men from our own company left. Oh. Oh, oh well, get the men to drum up some chalk. Get down, sir! Ye gods! Stretch of errors, stretch of errors. Have you no stretchy bearers over there? I'm afraid they went to the last attack, sir. Still waiting for some relief from HQ. Oh, I see. <laughs> Still. Stout chaps. Damn place still stinks of decomposing bodies. I'm afraid it's unavoidable, sir. The trench is mainly full of jerrys. Oh, oh yes, of course. It was last a couple of days where you were both uh, sharing the same front line, weren't you? Yes, sir. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> Carry on. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Cots. What's that? Oh, it's a jerry, sir. What? It's a leg, sir. What's it doing there, then? You can't have something like that sticking out of the parapet. 
Get rid of it, man! Get rid of it! Hardcastle, remove yeah. the offending limb. Don't do that, sir! It's holding up the parapet! You've only just consolidated the position! Well, get a hacksaw, get a shovel and hack it off, and then dismiss the man. Yes, sir! Right, you lot. Get yourselves back, make some char. Now where I'm going to be bleeding kick. I don't know. Heads, bodies, blood all over the place. All he's worried about is one bleeding leg. <laughs> <laughs>